Hello! In this video we will talk about the ref pose. You can see that I am in the animation screen and if I select all joints of any key in any of my animations and I reset the transformations then the resulting pose is my animation reference pose also known as ref pose for short. It is the position of joints that Akitsu uses as the base pose for your character, specifically for animation. So if you set reset transforms again in any of your keys, in any of your animations, or if you create a new animation, then you can see that your character will begin or be reset to this pose, which is your reference pose. Now, if I go into the rig screen and in skin and check if you had made any changes to your character's transformations and you reset your character's transformations, then the resulting pose is your bind pose. And this is not the ref pose at the moment for this character. The bind pose is the pose used for when your mesh was first bound. Now I will go over the C bank window or the character bank window and you can see that up here I have three buttons. The first button is to create new character nodes. You can see here that I have one character node in my scene and that contains everything that is my wolf character. You can see that the same character node displays in my tree menu and this character node holds uh, your joints, your skinned meshes, unskinned meshes, your IK controls, your reverse foot controls, everything that is that character. So if I wanted to bring in a new character, I could create a new character node through the character bank window with this button. I could rename it and then I could import a character to this new character node and it would hold all of the things of that character and I could have as many character nodes as I want in my same scene. Now the second button is for creating a custom ref pose and the third button is for deleting that custom ref pose. So you can see here that when I have selected my wolf, then the delete custom ref pose button displays. You could only have one reference pose. Now I will explain the different states and modes of the character bank as they happen chronologically when you are working with your character. So if I begin a new scene, you could see that at the beginning I have a build pose and a skin and check underneath my character node. And the build pose is used for managing and working on your skeleton only. And the skin and check is used for binding your skin. Other than this, your skin and check does not really serve any other purpose. Um, but before you have bound your skin, if you wanted to, you could check your joints positions and orientations before skinning. So if I go into my wolf scene and I remove all of the skinning, you could now see that my character node for my wolf has changed back to the beginning. So it is in build pose and in skin and check. So if I wanted to, I could go into skin and check and I could look at the orientations of my pivots and make sure that they are working the way that I want. Now if I skin my character again You could see that once you skin your character, your build pose has changed to bind pose and it is the pose that remains in the state for editing skeleton, 
pivots and now it is for creating your eye case and your reverse foot controls. Also, once you bind your skin, you now have a ref pose that is created uh, by default. And your bind pose is your ref pose. You can see here that I have the ref pose icon next to my bind pose. And this means that when you create animation keys, they are recorded as differences in transformations to this ref pose, which is my bind pose at the moment. So if the reference pose moves, then all of the animations move in the same way in translations. And then again, you still have your skin in check once you have bound your skeleton. And this mode remains the state to manage all your skinning, as well as to check the final results of your character. So you can see that if I click on any part of my mesh, that the mesh becomes yellow and that is displaying my skinning. Whereas in build pose, it does not display the skinning. And if you wanted to, while you are working on your skinning, you could pose your character and you can work on the skinning while your character is posed in skin and check. So if I pose my character, I could add new weights to that character. And so this is good for working on things like the arms if your character is in T-pose because you tend to get a lot of uh, squashing and stretching in certain areas of the body there. Now to show you how to create a custom ref pose, I will open up a new file of my wolf. You can see here that I have all of these animations in this scene. So if I wanted to create a new ref pose, I would go into skin and check. And then I would just pose my character to something that felt more natural to this character. And then once I had something that I was happy with, I could just click on this button in the character bank. And now my custom ref pose has been created. Now if I go back into the animation screen, since I had animations, I get this pop-up here. And this pop-up is asking me if I want to convert my animations since I have changed my ref pose. Uh, this is for if you convert animations to make the adjustments to all of your pre-existing animations to uh, now have the new ref pose information. So you have three options, which is convert animations to save your animations. You could choose to not convert your animations and you could return to your previous ref pose. So if you return to your previous ref pose, then your changes that you have now created with your ref pose would be undone. And so this means that my character would go back to having the bind pose as the ref pose. Again, if I convert animations, you can see that my character animations have been saved. And if I create a new animation, then my character begins in the custom ref pose that I have just created. And now I will control C back to the way my character was with the bind pose as the ref pose. So the animations have also changed back to um, have the same translations that they did when the bind pose was the ref pose. And I will create the new ref pose. And now I will show you what happens when you don't convert your animations. You can see that because my ref pose had only made changes to the arms, the arms are completely broken. And so I have now broken my animations. <laughs> But again, if I do create a new ref pose, then I do begin in that new ref pose. 
So you might want to make sure that you convert your ref posts so that you keep your old animations. Later on, Akitsu will allow you to modify or kill your reference posts without killing your animations. You could also modify your skinning or your skeleton without damaging the ref posts. Another big benefit of the reference pose is that external characters can be imported with custom reference pose different, different than the bind pose. For example, for mocap, Akitsu will be able to import it and support it. And I will just show you how to delete your reference posts. You select your custom reference pose and you click on the third button in the character bank and now your bind pose will be your ref pose again. And that is the reference pose.